Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo De Aro, and today I will be talking about two, pain, two paintings that I like, which is Arises by Vincent van Gogh and Modern Rome by Joseph Mallard William Hoy. <clears throat> Start, for starters, van Gogh is a Dutch post-impressionist painter who has a large influence on modern art. A few months back, I visited the van Gogh exhibit in Los Angeles, which was built by an artist who, influenced, who was influenced by Vincent, Mr. Molino Sicardi. To describe, this, to describe this exhibit, I need to imagine a large cube with TVs as walls that play off Van Gogh's paintings and accomplishments. During this experience, one of Van Gogh's most pa famous paintings, Arises, was played. The image that Van Gogh had in mind was a vibrant garden scene with Arises in different hues of blue, purple, and white against swirling dynamic backgrounds. Completed in 1889, this painting was one of the first paintings with vivid colors and expressive brushwork. During his time, uh, post-impression artists were starting to take movement. To define this type of artist, which is post-impression art painters, these painters are a type of artist whose painting consists of brush and expression, experimental with form, brush, and color, who, which influence modern art. This painting has different meanings to it. Van Gogh really wanted to express his emotional state and connection to nature. And doing so, he reached a very large audience, uh, audience of future artists. Van Gogh's state of life was very odd. During his residency at the asylum of um, St. Providence, France, or St. Paul, Providence, France, Vincent Van Gogh crafted his masterpiece of Isis. Seeking solace and treatment for his mental health challenges, which, which consisted of emotional distress and depression, Van Gogh willingly admitted himself to the asylum. With the confines of the institution, he discovered solace and inspiration through the act of painting. <clears throat> and Rice is one of the numerous artworks he created during this period, with the Asylum Garden serving as a wellspring of inspiration, particularly the Rice's that flourish within its grounds. After his stay at the Asylum, um, Van Gogh decided to stay at Overs, which is a, a village in France, to undertake care of Dr. Paul Gash. During his time living there, Vincent painted many more paintings, such as uh, Church of Alvarez, House of Alvarez, Field with Flowers New Alvarez, the Town Hall of Alvarez, the House of Dr. Gadget, and lastly, the Wheat Field with Crows, which was his last painting days before, days before his death, which was July 29, 1890. Vincent Van Gogh's last painting was emotional and controversial. To describe this painting, Van Gogh is very terrible in state of mind. He was depressed and suicidal. His last paintings, Wheat with, Wheat with, with Crows, was a very strong symbolic picture that is very emotional. It symbolizes the death of Vincent Van Gogh. Days later, then, um, Vincent Van Gogh was found with a gunshot wound to his chest and was pronounced dead by suicide due to his last painting, which um, symbolizes suicide. Now moving on to Modern Rome by jo Joseph Mallard William White. A few months ago, I ventured this, the Getty Center. On my, on my visit, I saw this painting that was very unique to me due to the color and brush marks. This painting is Modern, Modern Rome, Capo Pacino by Joseph Mollard William Turner. At the time, J.M.W. Turner was an artist I've never heard of. After reading, Joseph uh, Mallard William Turner was another highly influential painter from Britain. Um, he is a prolific painter, watercolorist, and a, print, a printmaker. His work involves innovative and expresses use of light, color, and effect of landscape and seascapes. To be honest, he was very different from Van Gogh. He was a romantic um, art figure, which spotlighted emotion, imagination, and the power of nature. His technique was also very innovative due to the fact that he used very loose brushes and used light, um, which is why I honestly found this painting very unique. It has a lot of light to it. And it's also just outside, a lot of trees, buildings. It, to me, it looks like nature. Um, during this time, um, there was this was the aftermath of uh, Napoleonic Wars, industrial relations, and growing political issues that severe, that several European nations went through. And now that the history of the late 1830 is made known, Turner was deeply interested in the world and its ruins, so he decided to travel across Europe especially um, Italy. During his trip, he came across Campo Pacino of Avocino and was fascinated by the representation of the past. 
His curiosity and interest with the history and ruins of ancient Rome was his motivation for completing modern Rome. After his painting, Turner decided to keep traveling and painting his, his adventures. His inspiration to in inspire others is what kept him motivated to continue his art and new hobby, teaching. After 76 years of life, six years of painting, Turner had a terrible um, death decline due to his age. On December 19, 1851, Joseph Mather William Turner passed away due to age. After his death, his legacy continued to grow, which influenced many future artists. These two paintings were made very differently. The emotional expression, technique, artist movement, and intention were completely opposites. JMW was a romantic and loved to draw vibrant and colorful paintings. On the other hand, Van Gogh was a man with mental illnesses, such as depression and suicidal thoughts, who enrolled himself to an asylum to see if he could get better. Something that was also very different was their motivation. One, 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 one was motivated by traveling in history, and the other was motivated by the painting the goal in his mind. Or he, which was, the goal in his mind was for you to feel his feelings. He painted things he saw at home in the asylum, and they looked very similar, which means he was always in a state of depression or in the high suicidal thoughts. I decided these two paintings because I love the fact that different childhoods can bring influence to different types of communities in modern art.